Welcome to Weld.com. I'm Paul Brown, or Paul E, as they call me around the shop here. Today we're going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of welding with different frequencies of AC on aluminum. Uh, what they can do for you and how they may hinder you. The machine we're going to use today is the Everlast PowerTig 200 DV. And it's capable of changing the hertz anywhere from 20 to 250 hertz instead of the usual 60 hertz that a transformer machine would use. Let's get to it, set the machine up, and then we can do some welding and really see the difference. Okay, let's turn this girl on. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the post flow to six seconds. And the reason we set it to six seconds is the rule of thumb is for every 10 amps, you have one second of post flow to cool the electrode off. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to set it to AC. Then we're going to set it to 2T pedal. That's so we can use a remote amperage and on off. There's no use for us to use the pulse right now because we're not using that function. The last thing we set it to is high frequency TIG. It has three settings, high frequency TIG, lift arc TIG, and stick mode. We're going to set the frequency to 60 hertz. Then we're going to set the balance of the AC to 70% negative. That'll give us 70% penetration, 30% positive cleaning action, which removes the aluminum oxide layer from the part. And we're ready to go. Today we're going to use some Bower 4043 330 seconds filler wire, and it is AWS spec A5.10. I've already cleaned my aluminum plate with my trusty stainless steel brush that I only use for aluminum and that was to remove the aluminum oxide layer. Now here's a trick that I really like to do. Instead of using a 36 inch rod, I'll cut it in half, bend the ends, so when it's on the table, I can roll it and grab the end of it very easily, because otherwise these are very difficult to lift off the table. Okay, let's go from 60 hertz up to 250 hertz AC. This is how easy it is to do. Little yellow knob, all the way over to the right. We're ready to go. And I'm going back to weld some more. Here's the results of our little welding with different hertz frequencies on AC. This is the 60 hertz setting on AC. This is the 250 hertz setting on AC. You can see that 60 hertz is a little wider bead, while the 250 hertz is much narrower. The difference is the amount of heat that was put into it. If we look at the back, the 60 hertz over here shows a lot more heat telegraphing through to the back side than the 250 hertz does. So, the results of the test tell me that for thin material, a higher hertz would be more advantage because it's less likely to burn through, the arc is more focused, which allows you to get into tighter places. Whereas if you have something that's very thick and doesn't necessarily need tight focus, the 60 hertz or even lower hertz would put more heat into the material. Thanks for watching today. If you have any questions or need help, go to our forum and connect with us, weld.com slash forum. If you want to check out exclusive content and member perks, 
Join our channel and support the Weld.com community. See you on the next one.